hello and welcome back to my channel this is penguin and yeah i took my break and scrolled on tiktok and drunk drink some water and drank some water gotta hydrate in the summer it's important anyway today i'm going to, i am today <laughs> anyway now i'm going to continue more of killer frequency the actually the game is actually not bad i'm surprised at this is the second game second horror game that does not require weapons i'm playing so because i i don't think i'm going to continue um at dead of night i'm not sure it's kind of it's getting it's pissing me off it pissed me off a lot it pissed me off a lot so i'm not sure if gonna i'm gonna continue that anyway let's start the odyssey it's the same timing 11 25 yeah i love this this i love like a lot i love it I love this. Too bad my uh, friendly my friendly neighborhood didn't work. I would have loved that. We have a call waiting. Okay, okay, darling. Uh, wait. Um, what's with the? About forty percent, forty-four, fifty-three. Okay. I feel like it's a little bit fast still. Okay. 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 It's good. But it. Welcome to the stream with me, Forrest Nash. I love this. Yeah, Leslie. This is Maurice Russell, oh, the yeah. Gallows Reporter. Okay. I'm at the office. This guy just broke in downstairs. Oh, broke in? Wait. Horace oh, no. Nash? I want to speak to 911. <laughs> Took you a while. Oh, God, another one? Uh, I am 911. Leslie left me in charge. Leslie's driving to Henderson right now. She left me in charge. Why on earth is Leslie? Oh, never mind. Just yes. put me on with Sheriff Matthews. Sheriff he Matthews is dead. Dead? What happened? Did you witness the incident? Are you willing to do an interview for the reporter? Not the time. Not the I time. I you as an anonymous source. It's live. Sir? We are live on air. This is not an anonymous. We're live on the air. Anything we say can and will be broadcast. Exactly. Live on... Damn it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Obviously, a lot more going on than I know. Yeah, you, there's a lot happening tonight. You said someone broke in. That's nothing to get worked up about. Wait, I want to make sure. Some idiot okay. kid. Sorry. Broke in. Dressed as the whistling man. <laughs> Team. They get worse every year. I don't know. And this punk wasn't even a disappointing twinkle in his daddy's eye. <gasps> When Edward Marshall <gasps> Mooney stalked the town. But I was it's there. It's giving I know what you did last summer. I don't think it's a teen. You don't understand. That's not a prankster. That's the whistling man. Yeah, it's real. Of course it's not. It's a stupid kid. Every year it happens. Every they year? It's funny. Not a big deal, old man. They didn't live through the terror 30 years ago. Anyway, I know for a fact, Edward Marshall Mooney is dead. Yeah, it's I definitely know giving... I know what you did last him. summer. But if he killed Sheriff Matthews... Where are you now? In the board. Upstairs. We got security cameras all around the building. You can watch them on any TV set here. There's a set in the board. 
Uh, do you think? Do you think? Uh, uh, no, Maurice, that's. Maurice, is there any way you can get out of there? Uh, Running. I sure as shit hope so, kid. <gasps> but I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. That oh, crash oh, oh. you heard was him tipping over my filing cabinet. <laughs> that's funny. Blocking the stairs. I'm guessing the stairs are the only way out. That's Why? right. And it would take me a good few minutes to move those cabinets. We need to do something. But what? All we can do from here is... Calling. Forrest, I think I've got it. Why don't we call the killer? They'd have a bunch of phones set up across the office, right? In different rooms, with different extensions. So we call one of them. Draw the killer away. Uh, I'm by Maurice Tyne. Yeah. By Maurice Tyne? That could work. Exactly! It's worth a shot. I can hear you, you know. <laughs> the son of a bitch hasn't killed me yet. Sorry, Maurice. Peggy and I were just trying to figure out. You realize how stupid that plan sounds, right? We did not say that it's a good successful. plan. You're it's gonna need a every plan. Phone extension. Plus, a plan of the entire office floor. All delivered while the killer is en route. It's I a plan. It. Thank God I've always been cool under pressure. Not the time. Don't go anywhere. Not the time. Not the time. Oh, what's that? What's that? You... You don't think the killer got him, do you? Mr. No, no. Russell. I'm here. Freak's going to be here any second, too. Go check your fax machine. Don't let me down. Oh, where's the fax machine? Um, wait. Where is my... Go, Forrest! The fax Where? machine's in the office on the other side of the hall. Thanks, Peggy. Be right back. Okay. Go to the office on the other end of the hall. Grab the fax from the machine. Easy. Need to keep. Oh, uh, wait. Oh, wait. Yeah, that one. I always forget. Okay. This, the... this must be it. Let me out. <laughs> Get the fox? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, oh wait. Yeah, I have it. Yes, I have. Mr. Russell, you, uh, you still with us? I am. You get my fax? Mm. Yeah, I got it right here. Good. I knew you could at least manage that. Okay, uh, folks, we're back on the uh, line with Maurice. Is the audacity? Let's see if we can help him avoid the whistling man. Here's the situation. Okay. The whistling man searched every room in the hall leading up to the board room. Uh, board room, board room, board room. Where is it? Now or never. This plan of yours better work. I'm ready on my end, Forrest. Again, we want to draw the killer away by dialing an extension number. And then move Maurice somewhere safe. So, what extension should I call? Uh. T. Um. With a map position. Okay, where is he? Where is Maurice? Uh. He's in his editor's office. Wait. Help Maurice deal with us. Okay, I think he said in his... 
Hmm. Uh, I think he might be here. He's he's in the archives, maybe. He's in the cubicles, okay, he's in the cubicles. Uh, I think he said he's in the cubicles, I don't know. But I think the best chance is... The furthest, the furthest one is the editor's. Call the editor's office, the extension is 03. Got it. I'll put the call through when you're ready. Alright, Nash. Where do I need to go? Well, you are in the cubicle, so the, your best bet, so you don't get spotted, is the kitchen. Uh, is the kitchen. You're moving to the kitchen. Yeah, that makes sense. Go somewhere he's already checked. Oh, he checked the kitchen? Not bad, Not the I'm ready to place the call. Are you ready, Mr. Russell? Don't have much choice, do I? Fingers Make crossed. Yes, sir. Calling now. Uh, I can't believe it. He's actually heading to my office. That's good. 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 It was all Peggy's idea. Credit goes to her. Uh, don't mention it. The coast is clear. Okay. 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 I'm shutting off the TV so he won't see. Then, making my move, I'll call when I get there. Do you I think he'll make it okay? I don't like sure this. He'll be fine. I don't like but options. Now what do we, do? we gotta find some way for him to get past that barricade. What do you mean? I He's don't think calling the whistling man is gonna buy Maurice enough time to move those cabinets. We gotta think of something else. Yeah. Maybe we could... Oh! Call incoming. You ready? Ready as I'll ever be. I put him through. Alrighty. Mr. Russell, are you there? Um. I am. I don't think he saw me. Good, 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 Gotta good. I give you credit for that, but I'm not out of the woods yet. Uh, right, let's review where we are. So, the only way out is by the stairs, mm -hmm. which the whistling man has blocked with furniture. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, I can move the furniture out of the way. Not quickly, or quiet. Yeah. Uh... Can you fight him? Definitely no. <laughs> no. Could you lock him in a room? That'd probably buy you time enough, right? Maybe. Damn fire regulation. Say every door in the office has to unlock from the inside. Damn it. He'd be able to get out just as soon as... Wait. Wait, wait, no. No, no, no. I got it. Mm -hmm. The secret archives through my office. Where we keep our most sensitive records. Ooh, a yeah. secret archive? Reggie would love that. What have you got back there? Juicy secrets about outer space? Not your time, Peggy. Not your time. Peggy, I don't think now is the time to be playing around. Yeah, not like your that. time. Not You're your right. time. Sorry, Forrest. Not Kids, your time. We're in the big time now. I've got it all figured out. The secret archive. Okay, okay. There's no lock on the inside of that room. Only the outside. You can't break oh. out. If we can get him in there, and I lock him in. We can catch the son of a gun. Exactly. Maybe. Oh my god. Forrest, we might be able to end the nightmare right here. So should I call the secret archive then? Can't. Archive is a room for secrets, not gossip. So we don't have a phone in there. Oh, we're something need to wireless. It up then. Tape recorder. Any ideas for us? Tape recorder. No, not yourself. A radio. Wait. Is there a TV there? He said it's a secret archive. So I don't think you're allowed anything in there, right? Is there a TV in that room? Maybe that could draw him in. Ah, of course. I turn it up 
he comes in and I get my head chopped off. Okay, that's not. Think of something else. Okay, the radio. Maybe we could use a radio. There's no radio in the secret archives. <sighs> Are there no radios at your offices? I don't have one in my office, but. Hmm? What is it? Our sports reporter, Hopkins. He has a little portable radio he never turns off. Is it still in the office? That might be what we need then. Is his portable radio still there? It should be. It's what he calls his work radio. <laughs> what? It should be in the archives, actually. Oh. I'll sneak over while our friend is still distracted with his search. I'll call you back once I've got the radio. Uh, we're gonna save him, Forrest. Chill, Look, if chill. If this works, we might even save the whole town. Chill, chill. Chill, 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 chill. It don't make it. Started. Yeah. I don't want to be a damper. We're close. Let's make it happen, Peggy. How can we fail? Uh, I mean, don't. It's a plan with steps. Don't. Get the radio, it. plan it in the secret archives, lure the killer, and. Oh! Call incoming from the reporter. Putting it through now. Nash, hello? Nash, are you there? I'm here. Is everything okay? I found the radio. Yes, 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 yes. Right where I thought it would be. It's all coming together. I'm just going to turn it on quickly, make sure it's still got some juice. Maurice, turn the volume down. We don't want that thing blasting just yet. Yeah, yeah, I knew that, Ash. I was just doing that when you yelled at me. Right. I believe that. The radio works! If I make it out alive... Hopkins might just get that day off he wanted. Uh, he's earned it. Let's do it for Hopkins, Forrest. Anyway. Wait. Ah, oh, god damn it. If I can't have this stupid thing turned up, how am I supposed to draw the killer? Right. I can't be in the room when it's on, or I'm dead. You just... Right. Oh, that's a good point. But wait, uh... we're the radio. We can just be quiet until you're ready. Oh. If you can do that, then... Yeah. Sure. Oh, so, 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 so. Wait, that's right, that's right. I know that's your station number. But a good editor always double checks. You confirm that? You got it. 189.16. Good. I've got the radio on silent. I tuned it. Now, I just need to get to my office. Sounds like we need to make another call, Forrest. Where should we send the killer? Uh, he's in the editor's room and he's in the here. So, what's this? What's this? The board, board, boardroom. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Um, um are we sure? Um, Call the boardroom. The extension is zero four. That might work. The boardroom is fairly close to the editor's office. Okay. But we okay. haven't seen the killer go there yet. Are you sure? Uh, I'm sure make the call, I think. Don't make I'm it. sure. Make don't the make, call. Don't make okay. me question call myself. I don't I hate this. I hate these type of questions. They make me question myself. He's on the move. I'll call you guys from my office in a second. Looks like we're almost through this nightmare. Shh, Any shh. idea what you'll say to draw the killer in? I'll call the killer a jackass. Yeah, I want him. I'll just call the whistling man a jackass. That'll get his attention. That's the plan, right? <laughs> sure is. Ooh, call coming in. Here we go. I'm here. The radio set up in the secret archive. Just give me the signal, and I'll turn it all the way up. Where will you hide in the meantime? I. 
question. It is under my desk, but I uh, can see under it. I've got a big cabinet, but uh, that'll take me a second to get into it. Anywhere else? Uh, not really. The cabinet. There's the secret archive itself, but no. that's where the kill is going. The cabinet. I could try the cubicles, no. but they're pretty far away. The cubicles is a no no. The cabinet. Your judgment has kept me alive so far. Definitely the cabinet. He said a second to get in the cabinet. It's a cabinet. Hide in your cabinet. Alright. Well, this is it. Please. I'm going to go turn the radio up to full blast now. <laughs> Don't say anything until I've had time to hide. You got it? We know the plan. You can trust us. Here we go. I think it should be safe now, Forrest. Hey, whistling man. Jackass. You think you're something special, huh? Well, guess what, pal? You got another thing coming. I was reading. Is that the right choice? <laughs> Listeners, this is Forrest Nash of 189.16, The Scream. And if you've just tuned in, We just locked up the Whistling Man. Yay. Forrest, you beautiful bastard. <laughs> I can't believe that actually worked. <sighs> Frankly, neither is I. Oh, my God. I'm being honest. I can't believe it either. Thank God it's over. I'll be off now. Gotta get out of here. Write up a few notes. Call a few. I feel safer waiting for the cops to come grab this freak with some company. Hey, maybe you and me could do an interview tomorrow with the gallows reporter. I'll think about it. We'll see what tomorrow brings. I'll take that as a yes. Talk to you soon. There we are, folks. The whistling man is I'm not, not I'm not good at this. So take a deep breath. I'm and not. play some killer tunes. Not it, not it, not it. You know what? I think I will... I don't want people... To, I want to have the good ending first. So, I'm going to... To open up... I'm, I'm gonna... Dead air is a crime, Forrest. Let Storm Riders take you on a rock and roll ride with the Glam Jam. I'm gonna open up. I don't want to. I don't want to. People die. It should be pretty easy from here on out. Right? Thank God that's over. I guess <sighs> we got some downtime now. Um, I could ask you some I'm questions to kill the time. You're gonna interview me. You sure about that? My butt hurts. You're not so scary. Besides, we've been working together like a week now. And you're still all shrouded in mystery. I don't like her energy, but... Oh, I'm an introvert. What do you want to know? I'll regret this, but okay. No. Let's give it a 50-50. Uh, I'll regret this, but okay. Question one. Tell me about your family. What? Come on, Peggy. That's too general. Okay. Did anyone move with you to Gallows Creek? Wow, nope. she's so sneaky. No, that's too specific. Too specific? I... Do you have any siblings? I don't. I'm an only child, and my folks are dead. Oh, I'm sorry, Forrest. It's okay, Peggy. That's how it goes. No, it's okay, Peggy. That's how it goes. The other anyway. options are awful. What about you? Any siblings? Your mom and pop still around? I thought I was asking the questions. You were. I'm just making mm. conversation now. Oh. Well, 
My oh. folks went the same way as yours. Oh. Yeah. My dad walked out when I was about 13. He'd been a wreck for a while. Then he got himself into a wreck. And, well, that was dad. Mom didn't take it well. She remarried pretty quick after that. She wanted to forget dad so bad. She even made me take my stepdad's last name. So I'm Ooh. Peggy Weaver now. Anyway, Mr. Weaver got sick one day and my mom Ooh. didn't last long after he went. I'm sorry oh. to hear that, Peg. Don't call me Peg. Yeah, sorry. I was just trying to be... It's okay, I know. I'm sorry. I'm defensive about that name. Oh, wow. Any siblings? Funny you mention that now. No. Not anymore. <gasps> mm. I had a sister, but I haven't okay. seen her since before my dad. Oh, okay. Hold on. Someone just rang the door buzzer. What on earth could someone want at this hour? I don't know. Do you want to go check it out? Mm. Me? You sure you don't want to go? I don't we can't leave the this. booth while we're on air. The one of Reggie's K fan regulations. I'll pass you the key to the stairs. I don't like this. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like this. Where are they okay. here? Down to the first floor. Let me check the door. You I'm not some some goofer. Jeez. Several floors there away. Freaking don't, don't like this. this. What? Wow, that was ominous. Very. A tape. Play on air. I don't like this. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go. 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 I'm, gonna go. I'm out. I'm out. I am not staying. I'm not turning back either. I did not enjoy that. Me neither. What the hell was that? I... Oh, Forrest, we're still on air. Say something. <sighs> Hello? Maurice locked the killer up. I know. This does not look good. This does not bode well. This does not look good at all. Hey, we had a call come in. Collar, you're on 189.16, the screen with... Ash! Shut up and listen to me! <coughs> Mr. Russell? What's wrong? Are you okay? I said listen! He's gone! The oh. whistling man is gone! Uh... He's gone? What happened? Well, after our call, I cleared the stairs and went home. Good, good, good. I phoned some buddies. We came back here to keep watch. Then what happened? I'm getting to that. <laughs> we came back here. The door was shut, just as I left it. We had a couple of drinks, and, well, 
There was a bunch of us and we were all armed. They thought we could teach the freak a lesson before the cops got him. Okay. Did you let him escape? Wait. I don't blame you. That's... That's... Let's... Did you let him escape? Of course we did it. I demand you retract that accusation. Damn it, Maurice. Just tell me what happened with this plan of yours. This was not my idea. The guys just grabbed their weapons and unlocked the door. Oh. I braced myself and... Then? Then nothing. Oh. The room was empty. How? The door was still locked. How the hell did he get out? Are you sure it was still locked? Oh. I'm telling you. It was locked. No way out of there. None. Maybe. I mean, I know it's crazy, oh. but if he's back from the dead, then... Don't bury Douglas, Piggy. This is... I told you, this definitely gives off. I know what you did last summer. He's suddenly just there. Do you think he's some kind of ghost, Peggy? It would explain things. I mean, how do we know he's not? There's no way. Oh, did you say something, Maurice? Baloney. I said baloney. Mooney? He said Mooney. I don't want anything more to do with this. I'm clearing out a dodge. And I recommend you and everyone listening do the same. He seems really spooked. <laughs> Wouldn't you be if you got attacked by a serial killer who turned out to be a demonic spirit? <sighs> He's not a demon, Peggy. Yeah, you're probably right. But what do we do now? He probably is a demon. Or, or someone is really playing the copycat. Thank you again, Mrs. McKenzie, for the helpful tip. The bagger at the grocery store cannot whistle. We'll remove her from the suspect list. Let's go to a break. I need you for a second. All right, folks. We need to take a quick break. This one's for all those folks out there keeping the hatches battened. Hope you enjoy this one as much as I do. All right, Peggy, what's up? I pushed a cassette under my door. Go play it. What? Wait a second. What did you say? What did you say? Got it. Did we forget an ad or something? I don't know. It was buried in my work now. I only just saw it. See what it says. Uh, play me ASAP. Off air. That's Reggie's handwriting. And he wrote it in purple. And? Purple is Reggie's angry color. He only writes in purple when he's really pissed off. Purple message. All right, I'll put it on. I hope it's nothing serious.
Um, what's going on? Um. Oh yeah, Cowboy's pretty good than you sing on that. What is going on? Why there is no audio? The next call would much more be much less friendly. Gina? That was Roddy Snatcher, Forrest! You know, Roddy Snatcher? No, I don't. Uh. Big Roddy fan? Are you a big fan of Roddy? I love Roddy! I Will Always Find You was my song. I wish we still had it in rotation. Oh my god, I can't believe you know Roddy Snatcher. And I can't believe you didn't tell me he sent you his new single. We have to play Final Breath. Where is it? I don't know. They mailed it to K-Fan, not to me. Then it's gotta be downstairs at reception. Oh no. Man, I can't believe Barbara didn't say anything. I mean, well, if that fiasco last Friday about the missing knife and easy track is any indication, folks at KFAM aren't against hoarding station music for personal use. I think we're still missing a few tracks, actually. Well, go get Roddy's song before Gina sues the pants off us. Jeez, no, 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 no gratitude in the work I do. <laughs> Sorry. But seriously, like, I'm not... Ugh. Why is nobody one? I hate this. Why should I be going downstairs? I don't like this. I don't like this. Where is it? This must be it. Final breath. My tiny selection grows. Did you get it? Got it. Let's get this on the air. Ah! Gallows Creek. I'm pleased to say we're in for a much needed treat. Up next, courtesy of the British sensation himself, is a track you won't hear everywhere. Here's Final Breath by Roddy Snatcher. Wow. God, Roddy's the best. In what way? He is. And more importantly, we should be safe from the worst of Gina Franklin. And I think that's every time I've seen him live. Peggy, we just talked through the whole song. Oh, whoops. It's okay. I can just play it on loop later. Oh, shoot. 
I just noticed we have a caller waiting. I really hope it's nothing serious. Me too, sister. Me too, because... Okay, so I have to... Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream, and tonight's 911 stand-in. This is Murphy! Huh? <laughs> Hello, Murphy. Uh, what have you got for us tonight? Two things, Forrest. First, happy birthday to my son, Fernando. Okay, yeah. Three today. Oh. Man, being his daddy has changed my life. I've That's learned sweet. how to live, how to laugh, most importantly, how to love. Aw, happy birthday, Fernando. Oh, the sweet. Happy birthday, Fernando. Thanks. Ready to be such a party people. My other thing. I'm putting the word out to this so called killer. Oh, please don't aggravate people. You think you're tough? No, 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 no. Bad idea. <gasps> Come face me, a true warrior at the Gallows Waste Disposal Plant. Guess what? It's not gonna go well. This is a bad idea. This is a bad idea, Murphy. I got all the tapes in Master Robbie's No Joe series. What? So get ready, whistling man. No. You just let loose the junkyard dog. <laughs> This is bad. Oh no. <sighs> and there he goes. Ladies and gentlemen, keep your fingers crossed for Murphy as he tries to become our hometown hero. Bad idea all, all around. <sighs> anyway, we'll be right back after this commercial. Oh jeez, this is a bad idea all around. After this commercial, it's... Um... Grab a cassette. We need to play a commercial. I'm trying, darling. I'm trying. Why is there no audio? Do you see? Just read it because I'm not gonna read it. It's going way fast for me. But why is it even that's weird? Hmm. <laughs> okay. Do people really buy this kind of thing? Don't Something. pretend like you're not interested. I mean, I wouldn't buy them, but I might watch them, I guess. Yeah, I bet karate love making sure is. <laughs> I, I, uh... <laughs> is Forrest Nash at a loss for words? Hey, let's just get to the show. Wow, what a deal. Only $24.99. And I'm not just saying that because they're paying for the airtime. Just ask Murphy. But unless they pay us more, then it's time to get the show moving along with our next caller. We got a caller. You know what to do. Oh, sorry. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Horace Nash. This. Every time he says that. <sighs> oh? 
Who's there? Who's there? Who is this? Okay. Are you okay, Katie? Are you okay? Do you need help? Forrest? He called me? That horrible whistling down the phone. He's coming for me? Jesus. Hey, listen, Collar, don't panic. We've done this a few times now. We can help you. A few times already? So, you saved them, or...? We sure did. You're in safe hands. I'm not gonna do this alone. Okay. I'm gonna need help. Okay. We're gonna help you. Can you tell me your name, Collar? I'm Dr. Sullivan. Uh, oh. Virginia. Sorry. Okay, okay, wait, Take some wait, deep wait, breaths, wait, Virginia. Wait, You're gonna be okay. Please don't let me die. Okay, I won't. We're good. Just calm down. Tell me where you are right now. What's your address? I'm... I'm... Oh, God. Can you hide? Can you run away? Can you hide? Can you hide? Can you run away? I think this... Can you run out back? No! What if he's outside? Waiting for me. Oh, God. Put that really long. Okay. Uh, can you hide? Maybe you can hide in your house? He'll find me. I know he'll find me. Is okay. there a neighbor you can call for help? No. Everyone's away tonight. There's just a fraternity down the street. Ooh. You live by a frat house? Yes. They're having a party. That takeout coming in all night. Lawn covered in beer cans. They're getting wasted. And I'm about to get... Oh, God. Virginia, what's the name of the frat? It's... Oh, God. I can't think. I, I can't... Any idea what the frat might be, Peggy? If I knew where she was, I might know, but... Wait, the takeout. If we can get takeout to the frat, we can get a message to them to go and help. Virginia, who did they order takeout from? I don't know. Come on, Virginia. Try to remember. I can't do this. Wow. Well, folks, seems like our Virginia hung up while we try to figure out what takeout to order. Here's some music for your own midnight snacks. It's David Scopo with Moonlight. Okay, okay. Peggy, what places do take out in Gallows Creek? Off the top of my head? Uh, well... Ponte, right? The Ponto, whatever... There's the barbecue place, Grilling oh. Spree, and you can order from Chalupa Cabras. Oh, and of course we have Ponte's Pizza. That's it, I think. All right. We'll call each place and ask who they deliver to tonight. That's not going to work. Take out client privilege. What? There was a lot of competition back in the day. Things got ugly. It's a long story. But what we can do is this. We figure out where the frat boys order from, call the takeout pretending to be from the frat, place an order, and include a note asking them to call the station. <sighs> There's no other way, is there? Not that I can see. Well, let's not waste any time then. That's the spirit. You got any suggestions on where to look? Check the offices for anything food related. And maybe the kitchen downstairs. You'll need a key for that. I'll just slide it under my door now. Thanks, Peggy. Can God, you... where to start? What would make me order from somewhere if I were a partying frat boy? Pizza. We have a food critic, right? Chad or Brad or. Uh... It's all. I just have pizza. to look around. It's all his pizza for frat for frat parties. I don't like going down. 
I hate this. I don't like this. Rooting through trash. This is a new low. Ooh. Interesting offer. I wonder how well Gallows High performed. So the proper I might have ordered from No Tivo? Okay. Go Gallows High, I guess. So it was the pizza. That's it, I think that's that's the clue. There's only the pizza, right? I think the pizza. It's the only food for parties, especially a frat. From the movies I've seen. Hey, find anything useful? Yes, I'm ready. Huh? Yes, I have. That's great. Are you ready to get back on the line? Let's make the call. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Okay, Forrest, what'll it be? Call Ponty's Pizza. You got it. Ponte's Pizza is on the line. Ponte's Pizza! 
May I take your order? Hey, dude. What's going on? Uh, may I take your order? I need some garlic bread. I need the bread! Can do! So where do you want that delivered? Uh, same place as before, you know. The frat house. Got it. And we'll have that over to you right away. Oh, and, and one more thing. Can you add a note to the order that says to call KFAM? KFAM? Oh, consider it done. The folks at KFAM are huge fans uh, of uh, body uh, space, uh, you know. Really? I should really call them and let them know. And now we wait. We should put a song on. Agreed. This one goes out to our delivery workers. Now it's time to go with The Flow. And this is their hit, Crying for Hell. What happened? Uh, what Which happened? of the takeout places would you order from? To save Virginia? No, wh where would you actually eat? Oh, I mean, they're all pretty equal. If you had to pick. Sure, but if you had to pick one. Mm. All right, all right. Not Ponty. He's not Ponty. Right, so between grilling spree and chalupa cobras. I mean, it depends. Do I want a plate full of meat? Or do I want really, really good nachos? The way it can change depending on the day, you know? Yeah, fair enough. Uh, maybe I... Hold that thought, Forrest. We've got a call coming in. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. I love it when he says Nash. that. <laughs> hey, 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 this is Fredman Booker. What? We got some calling, and I hope to call this number. <laughs> yes. Bunker, this is Forrest Nash from 189.16, The Scream. And is this Goose? <laughs> oh, man. It's totally you, isn't it, Goose? Oh, this is such a goose prank. Uh, um, sure, this is good. Uh. Sure, whatever, it, it's goose. Now, listen, I... Goose, dude, get your ass to the party. We got so much beer! Uh, listen, I need you to... Goose, come get beer. Your brothers are waiting for you. Oh, no. I'm not Goose! I. Uh, how can I prove this to you? Oh, let me get a second opinion on second this. Second opinion! Norman the Barbarian! What do you think? <laughs> Great idea. Norman the Barbarian says only the radio man can control the video. So, play us the flow. Wait, really? What? The flow? Norman the Barbarian demands it. Okay, okay, I'll play the damn song. <laughs> oh shit! Okay, okay, Radio Man. You got my attention. What is it? Thank God. Listen, you've got to get over to your neighbor's house. All of you, just. Say no! The house. That easily. Forrest, line two. Hello, you're live on 189.16, the stream. Forrest, it's the killer. Ooh. He's at the door. Please. Oh my god, it's, it's you, isn't it? God, I didn't talk, I promise. <gasps> oh my god. I love this. I love this. Thank you, Forrest. I love this. 
I love this for them. I love this. You're welcome, Virginia. I love this. And thank you to Plunker and his fraternity brothers. Some heroes wear capes. Some wear sheets as togas. I love this for hey, them. Hey, Forrest. Did you hear what Virginia said earlier? What was that all about? Clive, I didn't talk. Do you know what she meant? There's a janitor here at the station named Clive, but who? your guess is as good as mine. All right, folks. Seems we may have a lead. If any of you know a suspicious Clive, then please call in. It could save lives. In the meantime, looks like we have another caller. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. It's great to speak with you, Forrest. Oh. As a local small business owner, oh, I find this like all goofy. horrifying. He does a killer roaming the streets of our fair town. Terrible. <sighs> he does not I sound. I hear you there. It's a scary time for everyone in Gallows Creek. How are you holding up? You somewhere safe tonight? Yes, Forrest, I am. I'm here at work in my small business. It does not sound it's safe. It's a safe, family-friendly place. Um... You sh Good for you, friend. Good for you, friend. I'm glad you're keeping safe and busy. Thank you! Oh, Let's be positive. I'm really living the American dream. In my business. <laughs> um. You must really, really love your work. Oh, I do. My small business is it... really is my whole world. Is it something illegal? What's your small business? Oh, well, I'm not really big on promotion, but uh. Yes, <laughs> it's Porty's Pizza! The best and only pizza place in oh town! Oh my gosh. Come on down. I get you Again? a deal on our two for one. God damn it, Porty. I... No free ads. <laughs> that was funny. I, mean, I guess we can't be that mad at him. Calling Ponty's did save Virginia. Oh I can God. be mad, Peggy. That sort of thing just. Uh, I can be mad. That was. Look, wow. he's gone that was now. Funny. That we was already funny. have somebody else on the line. Oh Just take gosh. a deep breath and let's keep going. That was so funny. <laughs> Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash, host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 a, a stand good ghost face. Hi. Hello. Am I on air? Sure, our caller. What's your name? And what have you got for us tonight? Name's Eugene Stein. And I've got a heart full of love, Forrest. Oh. I'm hanging out in the middle of the maze maze, listening to your show, looking up at the stars and waiting for her. You got a special lady coming out to see you. Yeah. Oh. Molly. We plan to get lost in the maze maze tonight. It does not sound good. To take our first journey together into the love labyrinth. Okay. That's why I'm calling, actually. I, I thought she an hour ago. Oh. And since I've listened all night to how cool you play it, I thought you were the perfect guy to ask. Should I call her up and ask if she's coming or wait and see? Uh, For real, kid? If you've been listening all night, do you really need to ask me? Yes, that's why I'm calling. Hmm. No, don't say and wait. Eugene, I... Do you really need to ask? I'm just not sure, you know? Go home to your parents. Eugene, you really need to go home to your parents. My parents are dead, actually. <gasps> but, uh... I'm so oh, sorry. Geez. I'm so sorry. I'm yeah, so sorry. I guess it's not the night. I'm so sorry. Hang on. I hear some rustling. Oh shit. I guess she came after all. No. Molly! No. I'm in the middle! No. It'll take a little while to get here, but uh thanks again, Forrest. No. It's been good talking. 
No, no. Wait a second. Molly can't whistle. No, no, this is supposed to be the best night of my life. Not the worst. Eugene, do you know the way out? It wouldn't be the maze maze if he could just remember the way, Forrest. She's right! I... Listen, Eugene. Breathe. Hide. And call back in a minute. We'll get you out. I... I'll do it for Molly. But please, hurry! Well, listeners, while Peggy and I deliberate, here's a track for all you lovers out there. Come on, Forrest, put some music on already. You're gonna love this next track. How the hell am I supposed to get in through the Maze Maze? You know Barbara, our receptionist? She's a Maze Maze fanatic. Shame she isn't here. I was supposed to go with her last week, but she changed her mind. Maybe we should call Barbara then? If she's so big on the maze maze. We could, but I don't actually know her number. But she probably has maze maze stuff somewhere. Go and see what you can find. That'll hopefully be enough. Uh, which one is Barbara again? Barbara! You know, Barbara! Uh... Forrest, I've seen you speak to her. <laughs> Help me out, Peggy. She's the receptionist. Sits at reception, yeah. never does any work because she's talking to Brad all day. Ring any bells? No. Right. Yeah. Sorry, I guess I... it's just the stress of. No excuses. Just go and find something to help us. Attitude. OMG. So this is the reception. What's the objective? Find something that will help you shouldn't escape the needs. I don't know how to say this, but I think we should see other people. I hope we can still be friends though. <gasps> you owe me five. Oh my god, that's so cheap. Um. Huh. Looks like Brad broke her heart. Wonder what she'd have done with all that maze maze stuff. Friday.
Okay. Bingo. Here's what I was looking for. I can't see. <laughs> this is Before we continue this, I'm, I have stuff to do, so I will be back later on to continue. Thank you for stopping by. Please leave a like and subscribe for more content. Thank you. Bye.